What's up everybody? This is Bill Mike here and figured I'd stop and make another video for each and every one of you and I had a good topic today. You know, uh, uh, you know, it's one that we all know and one we all see whether it's in our families or on the street or in our workplace, you know, no matter where it may be, you know, in our relationships even. Um, and that, that topic today is called drama. And there is so much drama out there in this world today, and we see it in many different um, aspects of our lives, you know. And it's one that could be taken care of and handled in a better manner than what it typically is. But, you know, as I get into it today, I'll try to give many different kinds of drama that's out there, you know, and try to, my take on how I handle it, you know, and, and, and just my thoughts about and opinions about it in general. But um, the first, you know, type of, uh, drama that we see and is very common is workplace drama. Um, workplace drama is one because we all basically work and we all are basically, you know, you have no matter where you're at, you're going to have conflicting personalities and not all of them are going to think on the same level. Not everyone's going to handle everything the same, you know. Uh, they always say if the, everybody was the same, uh, the world would be a dull place. True, but at least things could be handled. Hopefully, if it's the kind of person that handles them in a calm manner, that it would not be any drama there. But, you know, as we say, life go, you know, life happens and things go on. But, you know, in workplace drama, it's kind of like, well, you know, kind of like I'll give an example. I'm like going into this workplace that you have for um, from several years, you, you know, and you get to build a bond with the people, you know, your co-workers, things like that. You build a bond with them. You learn to work with them, you know, you know how they flow. And, you know, when you learn that and everything is handled in a good way, you pull together, it makes life and it makes your work life a whole lot easier, you know. So let's just say over time, five, ten years, whatever, and everything's going great, you know. But then all of a sudden, as time usually happens, you have some people come and some people go. And that's just a natural point of life, you know. You have that happen in our daily lives, not just work, but every aspect of our life is people come in our lives, they come and they go. So let's just say all of a sudden new people start coming in and basically you're dealing with um, newer people, you know, trying to adjust to them, how they handle it, and let's just say to where that flow, workflow, used to uh, work really well, you know, when people had problems, they sat down and talked about it, which is something that I feel is a big deal, and today is still, is communicating. You know, we're all adults here, we're all human beings, and, you know, we should be able to sit down that I feel like sit down and talking and discussing the many different things in life. I mean, that's what really makes life, uh, you know, so much better is when we can handle things on a calm level without it escalating into something big, you know, like a lot of fighting, yelling, screaming, even comes to blows sometimes. People, you know, fight, you know, which is very ridiculous, but you know what, people, it happens, you know, and that's a sad thing, but you get back and forth there and you get to know people and you see all these things happen and it's just like you get tired of hearing it and you know with me it's like I got so used to everything being good and handled on the calm matter you know like a chain you know every link is hooked together and it's strong but then all of a sudden over time you see these chinks in the chain to where they start it starts getting weaker and weaker you know because of these links that are coming in aren't joining together strong you know and how you once handled situations in life that's what happens is they don't handle them in a calm or, or you know at least a reasonable manner but they they think that yelling is a way to get it across they think bullying and saying, well, I'm this and I'm that, that's going to get it across. Or, you know, we all are not going to always agree, but it's good to sometimes agree that we're going to disagree or at least be explained the standpoint that the other person is taking and try to understand it from their standpoint. Doesn't necessarily mean that's going to change how you feel, but it creates less drama out there because once you go from that even flow and everyone's working well together, to and you know you're every day you're coming in and hey how you doing good to see you and just glad to see that person and those people and glad to work with them until a point to where you just sit in your car you know and you take at least 10 to 15 minutes and you kind of just have to feel like you have to psych yourself up 
to actually having to do, to be prepared to go in before to, to be with the, around the co-workers that you you know that you work with every day you know and to me that is very sad ladies and gentlemen how or in the world are you going to be able to have to handle a situation like that to where you have to psych your own self up to go into work to deal with these people because you're like oh I know this person's going to do that oh I know that person's going to be this way which is a very sad situation it's very sad to know that people can't be adults and sit down and talk about things because like I said no we all are in agree going to agree on everything but it's good that if we all can make our points and talk about it and handle it on a mature adult level without all the screaming, without all the hollering, with all because people also, when this happens, they like to form little groups. Then you have your little cliques that are out there and they're gonna huddle up and they're gonna talk about this person. That person's gonna talk about that person. The other person's gonna find out about it. Then there's gonna be drama there. So you see folks, drama is basically anywhere that you're going to go as far as work related because you're always going to have conflicting personalities someplace. You're not always going to agree every single time. And sometimes the flow works and sometimes it doesn't. But it's a basic common thing that could be avoided. And that's how I think it should be handled and how it would be more peaceful handling, handled well like that if people chose to go that route. But as we see in life, that's just not everything. That's just not going to always happen. Life is not a fairy tale. It's not always what we want it to be. But it should be more livable to where we're able to enjoy doing what we do and being at a place where we can be around people that we get around. So that was just, you know, something I felt like should be the case with, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as being in the work-related work related drama that happens and give an example. Um, another type of, of drama would be relationship drama. You know, relationship drama is something that is a major part of it as well. Another big dosage of drama because you look at life and you look at how we're going to spend it, whether we're going to be alone, whether we find that significant other to be, whether it's a boyfriend, girlfriend, uh, fiance, husband slash wife. You know, we all enjoy that time and sharing with other people and bringing other people into our lives and trying to combine two together as one. You know, my previous relationship uh, with Sweet Pea, uh, we had four years of it, you know, and we had all good times and we had rough times. Rough times, there was a lot of them. A lot of drama created during the four years we were together, not, not involving only just dealing with that significant other, but dealing with family as well involved in that, you know, and that's one thing that really can create problems when we have a mixture of family, relationship, and everything else. That's just something we don't want to go because after that we see all these situations to happen and it just, it really can be one big mess uh, over time. And that's just what it was, you know, and I'm not blaming it all on one or blaming it all on the other, but it just wasn't a good mixture. But as I went through it, you know, with Sweet Pea, you know, you learn to try to make your significant other happy, make them comfortable, make, let them get to know you, try to let, let them know that, hey, you're for me and I'm for you. You're the only one I love and care for, and that's all. I, you're the only one I want out of this whole world. But, you know, when you, you try a lot of times, and a lesson I learned uh, from a friend was you can never talk logical to an illogical person. And that's true. <laughs> I learned that our way for years of it, trying, but you just can't talk logic to an illogical person because they're never going to get it. No matter how much plain, right in your face stuff that happens, no matter how much you try to talk to others and say, hey, this is what's going on, look at this, pointing it to them, they, if they don't see it and don't get it, 
they're just never going to get it. And once that happens, when you're going through your daily life and things like that happen, it's going to make it very difficult for you to, you know, for you to be able to explain and for them to understand and be receptive of what you're trying to say. And I cannot tell you the number of countless nights and days that I spent explaining things to her, she never really got them. When she did get them, it was like I'm feeling like folks the very you know the very next morning like going straight into work, not even sleeping because you spend all that time trying to simply handle something and explain something that really is very small and minute for whatsoever, and there's nothing what they thought it was. But as, and you finally get it through, and then it's like another day has gone by. So it was just things like that through my relationship with Sweepy that just were really, really wearing me down, you know. I mean, like I said, you try to make them feel comfortable, but, you know, you end up going too far with a person like that. So much drama behind it. So much going on. It just wears you down, you know. It feels like you have so many burdens on you. And you remember, as I talked to you in the Shake It Off video, you know, you have to shake it off when it piles up. That's what you have to do or to bury you. But, you know, it's just so much drama that's in there with that relationship, you know. And it was just a mixture of everything. And it's just, no matter how hard you try, it's just you're never going to get through to that person. So, you know, in my eyes, when Sweepy and I mutually broke up, it was the best thing that I thought at the time, to, you know, for things to work. And then no longer feel like I'm enabling things because I loved her very much and was going to marry her. But I saw that in her situation, with all the drama and things and whatnot happening in situations, it just was never going to work. And when something like that happens, when you see red flags along the way, you try as hard as you can try. Sometimes, folks, it's just easily to give it up. Give it up and let it go. So that's what we did. And that's where I am a year and uh, eight months later is basically. But I'm a lot well off now. I took a year, I dealt with the relationship, the breakup and everything, handled it, got my wits back together, trying to be a better person and make this a good year so far. So that's where I am with that. So that's where drama, but that's another example of how drama and things can happen. Not just in my personal life, but elsewhere and others that I've talked to, friends, both male and female on their relationships. It's not just me, but it's everybody. Uh, another th another kind of drama that I see is basically family drama. And I mentioned that a little bit, not too much. But that's just natural because you, you grow up as a kids and you learn and you start to be an adult and you start doing things maybe your way and as part of growing up and then you have others that basically still see you as kids and think this is best for you, that's best for you. Instead of just wanting you to be happy, they're wanting you to be happy because it's it, they they feel like you they want this to make you happy, not what you see that makes you happy. And that was a part of things too where drama can come up because then you know, I can understand you being a teenager and a kid and that growing up because we don't always know what makes us happy when we get older. But as we get older, it falls on our decisions, our point of views, what we feel like. And sometimes it ain't always good. Sometimes we make bad decisions. Sometimes we make the wrong choices. But that's all a part of life. That's all a part of learning and dealing with that. But just the drama of it, of it all back and forth and, and not having family to support you. Uh, you know, whether it's aunts, uncles, whoever it may be, that's a sad thing to have in your life because there's always going to be that drama, and we all have it, and we all have it with family. You know, I personally, myself, I'm the same way. I have it too with a family member and, you know, family members, <laughs> plural, and um, it, it just it stinks, but that's just life. I mean, sometimes you get to a point where you're fed up with drama enough that you just basically don't talk to them. You don't bother with them anymore. You just go on and do it in your life, and that's just basically what I did, was just moved on with it and not worry about the people. If they're going to cause you drama when you be around them, don't be around them. Speak, go on, then let, let that be the case. Be cordial, but hey, you ain't got to take up time with them, and I wouldn't, so... A lot of times family drama goes. And also, sometimes with friends. Sometimes we have friends and 
we don't always see eye to eye. Like I said, we're the same, you know, we're in, it's in that same situation as, you know, with every other kind of drama and every other kind of people we interact with or friends. You know, it was uh, this one female friend of mine. She's very up and down. She's very, like, it's like uh, being friends like on, with a roller coaster. It's some days it's up, some days it's down. You try to be friends with her, and then you look at her, these social media. And that's one thing, folks, that can create a lot of drama social media. Uh, and especially when it comes to being friends and other outlets, is because they, they, there's so much miscommunication that falls within there that can create drama that's not even there. But just trying to be friends with this person and just trying to figure out the edge on Facebook or Twitter or whatever it may be, and you're up there for a little while, and you notice, and you're talking, and you think you're getting close to this person, and then all of a sudden they have friends that are writing things on there that maybe not you, you feel like isn't appropriate that they would be sending your friend but then you question them about it and like oh it's nothing it's just this and it's just that blah 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 and you go on with it okay but then as you see in time there's more of it there and you ask them about oh it's just this that and the other which just feeding you more crap more drama to be building up and then finally they did take delete you off their page don't have you on their friends uh, page anymore and you wonder what's going on but they tell you, well, it's just by chance this happened and that happened, and you know, and I, you know, I didn't know it was there. They went on my page. They did this. They did that. Lord knows the hacking goes so much as reason people reason people do things, and instead of just being up front, they want to cause more and more and pile it up so the crap gets higher up on the shoulders that you're dealing with with that from that friend of yours. So it's just like you wonder where do you stand with this person? You try to talk to them and it's nothing but just this, that, and the other. They give excuses all the time. This, that, and the other. And they never are straight up and honest with you. That's where the drama can come from because you're always knowing that something's not right here. You know, if it looks like a fish, it swims like a fish, smells like a fish, chances are 99% of the time it's a fish. So... That's just the way I see it. I mean, there's just drama everywhere. But I'm like, hey, if you just talk to me, be honest with me. I'm cool with things. I'm not a hard. I, I'm not a guy that's hard to get along with. Yes, Bullet B, my team B uh, uh, member, he'll tell you the same thing. You know, we've been friends a long time. We're not hard people to get along with. You just gotta be honest and be straight with us. That's all you ever ask for. It cuts through all the drama. But you know, that's life, folks. I mean, you can't always deal with it but just if, if nothing else today you get out of the video as I'm closing it um, is just be straightforward talk about things you don't have to raise your voices and be loud but just be an adult handle things in a mature manner communicate to the other person and try to work out your differences it can create less drama whether it's in the workplace whether it's in your relationship whether it's in your family whether it's your friends you know, whether it's your home life, no matter where it may be, it's always good that if we decide that if we handle drama in a way before it escalates into that, then it would be life would be so much better. So I hope that you've all understood. And I hope that you uh, like the video. Like I said, it's been a while, but I'll post it up and just uh, click like on it, subscribe, you know, and, and tell other people about it. Maybe they'll like my videos, read my, uh, watch my other videos, listen to them. Hopefully you get something out. So uh, this is Bill Mack and uh, I hope everyone of you takes care and take care. This is Bill Mack and I am signing off.